People misunderstood Krishna like nothing. People think Krishna is talking about detachment. People are talking about detachment because of fear of suffering. Can you do something well being detached about it? From my limited understanding or at least what we learned in textbooks is, Buddhism talks about how we should not be attached to something or how in certain cases we should be detached. I mean, it talks about how suffering, one of the reasons behind suffering is attachment. Now, my question to you Sadhguru, how can I help a particular friend or empathize with him if I'm not attached with him? So, this obsessiveness or attachment, is it necessarily bad? See, uh, this attachment, detachment business is a misunderstanding that's come out of the Gita in this country. People misunderstood Krishna like nothing, in the sense, people think Krishna is talking about detachment. Please look at his life. His life is involvement, isn't it? If you look at the scape of whatever we know about his life, whatever little we know about his life, his life spells involvement, involvement, involvement with everything around him. So this person unfortunately is being accused of detachment. See, if there is no involvement, there is no life. You can only know life with involvement. Even if the meal that you eat today, if you're not involved, you will not know what it is. Without involvement, you cannot even taste life, not possible. People are talking about detachment because of fear of suffering. Fear of suffering has come because when they involve, they get entangled. They do not know how to get involved, they just get entangled. Entanglement is happening because your involvement is very discriminatory. Is that sinking in? So I should be equally involved in everything, is what you're saying? I mean... Tell me, if you are less involved in your breath and more involved in your eating, you think life will work? See, breath is involuntary, that's what I'm… that's why I'm using the word breath, because it's involuntary, you don't have to do anything, it's just happening. But we're involved by keeping the air conditioning on, otherwise we'll suffocate. This is our involvement, we turned on the machine. We may not be consciously breathing, all right, but we are involved. Without involvement in every aspect of life, you will get skewed. And that is when psychologically you get messed up so much that in many ways mind gets deranged. Seeing this, somebody said, you're too attached, you must be detached. No, detachment will not work either. Can you be detached and do something well? Can you do something well being detached about it? No, you need absolute involvement. If you have an indiscriminate sense of involvement, you will see there is no entanglement in your involvement. If you discriminate, you will get entangled. The problem is of discrimination, not of involvement.